Hey guys, Caesar here again uh, for another vlog. Uh, so I'm just gonna go over uh, kind of like what I wrote about on my last vlog. Uh, hopefully all you guys read it, but I mean, you know, let's be real. I, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to reading stuff too. So uh, basically like what I wrote about is the uh, ketogenic diet. I, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not an English major. But uh, so basically, you know, what it is, is, you know, it's, it's his diet, it's trending right now, you know, a lot of people are doing it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually, you know, really curious as to doing it, and that's why I decided to write about it, because, you know, I like to know a lot of things, you know, before I, uh, what's up, Bubba? <laughs> I like to uh, make sure I, I, I know exactly what I'm doing before I do it. So uh, anyways, uh, so basically, like, what the ketogenic diet is, is like, um, the goal is to become keto adapted and basically what that means is that your body is using fats as its energy source instead of using carbs so um, you know most of us should know uh, that you know our body has three different energy sources right so you know there's carbs which are first and you know carbs are you know the body's main source of energy which is why I always say carbs are good uh, second uh, we have our fats and uh, third, we have uh, our protein, which is, you know, our muscle. You know, we never, ever, ever want to use our muscle. You know, that's the worst thing that we could do because what you're doing is breaking down the muscle. So all the time you spend in the gym, it's, you know, kind of a waste of time, uh, you know, as far as, you know, wanting to build muscle. So anyways, uh, so, you know, becoming keto adapted, uh, you know, it's not as easy as it sounds. Uh, it takes a lot of discipline. <laughs> Let me talk. Uh, it takes a. He want. He wants to be seen. He's uh He likes attention. So, uh, uh, what was my train of thought? Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, you know, the way you do it is by getting your body used to not having a lot of carbs, and then it'll start relying on the fats. So what you want to do is feed it a lot of fats and a little bit of carbs, and this is how you become keto adapted. Uh, it also happens. Uh, you know. By starving yourself, which uh, I hope none of us are doing because uh, starving yourself is never good. I mean, always eat. Um, so basically, like the keto, the uh, ketogenic diet, like the outline is to have, you know, anywhere from 5 to 10 percent of your uh, calories from carbohydrates, uh, 15 to 30 percent from proteins, and then anywhere from 60 to 80 percent of your calories from fats. So, you know, for example, you know, let me break it down easier is like if you're on a 2000 calorie diet, you know, and, uh, you know, it would look somewhat like 1400 calories is coming from fat, 400 calories is coming from protein and 200 calories is coming from carbs. And that is like the basic ketogenic diet, you know, and that's how to break it down. You know, it sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but it's really like counting your macros. If you guys have ever done that, you're just watching your macronutrients and uh, making sure that, you know, you're not getting too much and too little. Now, the only thing about the ketogenic diet that, you know, really worried me is, uh, you know, not having those carbs. You know, I, I am really worried about, you know, getting into, uh, you know, it's called gluconeogenesis and it's when... Uh, you know, your body starts using your protein as the source. And like I said earlier, that would be breaking down your muscle, which is, you know, contrary to what we do in the gym. So anyways, after reading, uh, you know, the, the ketones uh, that are developed actually help to store, you know, will maintain uh, the muscle so they don't really ever break down, which was my biggest concern. And, you know, after reading that, I'm kind of like, whoa, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, Christy hates me right now because of it. Uh, Christy's my fiance, and uh, I don't want to say too loud because she'll come scream at me. But uh, anyways, uh, like the foods that I would eat on the uh, you know ketogenic diet are, are things like uh, you know high in fats, you know coconut oil, MCT oil, things, uh, avocado, steak, salmon, stuff like that. Um, if you go on my blog, there's like a list at the very bottom. It's got like a bunch of foods to eat that are high in fat if you're you know, going to experiment with this diet. So definitely, uh, it's something I'm going to do. You know, sounds real good and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, I love I love talking. You know, let's face it, who doesn't like talking? So uh, you guys have a good day and uh, stay blessed.